Hello, this is Dr. Kirk. I'm going to go over some architectural tools here. Now, let's see. I've got the snaps bar on, and that's to keep things constrained. The other part of the snaps is right here, and if you want to keep it on the angle, you can activate that. If this is off, your snaps are off. So, I'll start with the snaps, and I'll start building some architectural types of objects. So, we go into the AEC Extended and from the top view if you click in the upper right hand corner you're not going to mess things up or start drawing you notice when you have the mouse like this it takes that double box shape it locks it in and that'll keep your selections going so we have it in the top corner down the bottom right I can make that big so if I start drawing it's going to draw a wall if I click the wall and I'll start drawing a wall and now you notice that's fairly thick right there what do we have We've got an 8 foot high wall let's click on there I have an 8 foot high wall, 5 inches thick, so that's fun. I start to click on there, and I can zoom out to make this a bigger building if I want to. You notice how it clicks very nicely, making it fairly straight, which is always helpful. And to end up, you can click right on it, and it'll give you an option to weld the point. I'll click yes, this will just be a basic building. Now you right click to get rid of the extra a uh, bit of wall it tries to make. So I have this completed building here and well not completely straight but there it is. Let's take a look at what it looks like from the perspective. So I'll drop the top view. Go into the perspective view like that. Zoom out a little bit with my roller mouse and I think I'll zoom into that whole perspective. Now you can hold down your alt key and rotate it wherever you want to. This is fine. Very small building but that's okay. And I'll show you how to put in some doors. So I'll start with the doors and we'll put some windows in. One of the easiest ways that I've found to put something in like that is, I'll go for the pan tool and kind of move it around a bit, is, let's see, to hit the F3s and just work in the wireframe. Just picture it in the wireframe. Go back to this selection button, get rid of the wall tool. Now you can go into the doors and literally it just says doors. So you have a few types to choose from. I'll start with the pivot door. And you notice I can choose these lines here. That's because I've got this lock to the edge, snap to the edge. So I'll do that. I'll snap to the edge, I'll hold it down, and I'll pull it out a little bit. Now I'll let it up and pull it to the forward edge too. Now it has to light up. See how it lights up the blue? In the back it light, lit up the blue till I pulled it out there. Now in the front it lights up the blue. So I click it again and let go and then it raises it. It's actually raising a door. It doesn't matter how much you raise it. I'll click it again. That'll stop it because what we can do is we can adjust it right over here. Height of the door. Well let's set that up for about seven feet. So just click the seven. Oh if you're not doing it already you can customize the unit setup for metric or US. I have feet with fractional inches which is fine. So I have a seven foot door here width you can change that any way you want to. So let's do about oh let's make a big fat door about four feet. The depth is fine because you can tell that it fits in there. Let's rotate around a bit so I'll hold down the alt key and just kind of rotate the mouse and it fits in perfectly like that if you link it to the back wall and the front wall. So if I hit one of the F3s I can see that it does indeed fit perfectly in where it has to be. Now, this is correct from an architecture perspective so anyone can look at this and read the blueprints, read what you have here and build off of that or use it as a base to build from. Now for aesthetic purposes and to animate even you can open the door if you want to. That's the inside. You can flip the hinge for the other side of it to open like so. Or you can flip the swing so it actually opens as an outside door now. So we have this as an outside door, which is fine because it's on an outside wall. So I built a door. My building a window is somewhat similar. Let's move this over a little bit with my pan tool. Just hold down that middle mouse roller. Let's go ahead and put a window right next to it, pretty much right about here. So I'll zoom in a little bit. Go down there. All right. I'll hit the F3 again and just work with the wireframes for a bit. And I'm still set for door. 
So let's go to Windows. Windows are slightly more complicated. Let's start with a fixed window, I suppose. Now, same type of thing to begin with. I click, drag it out, go to that front, let go, and go to that front wall blue line. Click it again. So it's set. Then I bring the window up. And once again, it doesn't really matter how far you bring it up. I'll click to end it. So it's very, very similar to what we did earlier with our door. So let's zoom out a little bit and see what we've got. We've got the window. Now I built it from the bottom, which is fine, because what we can do is we can adjust this. First of all, let's take a look here. I don't have a height, so I guess I'll do about two feet high. This is just for the window, not as particularly from where it is on the ground, maybe about three feet wide. So there's a nice little window there. Now the problem is it is on the ground, so we do have to change that. Now we can change this with the move tool, with one of the translation tools. These are the three translation tools, the move, the rotate, and the scale. Now when we have this, we can actually move it here. And oh, this is pretty compressed here, so I can't really see it too well. But I can raise this value. I'll raise it about four feet, so I'll type in four. And it raised it four feet. Now this is still in place. This window is still in place and it's been raised four feet. So you can do that. Make sure you get the right axis to do that. If you do it on a long and different axis, it's not going to work. It's not going to be exactly in the wall. So let's hit the F3, see what happens. And you can tell this window is perfectly set in the wall, in the front, and in the back. So just like the door, I can play with the window hit that modify for a moment to get back into it and I can even open this if I want to oh no I just had a flat panel door if you have different kinds of doors you can actually open them too just like you did the door so I'll just go back to my selection tool and I can do whatever I want to with the door open it you can do quite a few things quite a few different types of doors and even have it beveled Right now it's glass, there's a beveled door. You can play with the thickness and the bevels and so forth. So that's how you make some basic architectural elements in this. Hold down the mouse key to pull it, the mouse ruler to pull it, and this works out very, very well. Remember, you have to translate, which is the move tool, when you need to move the windows and bring them up. So you move the windows by bringing them up along the Z axis which is the up and down axis when you're using 3D Studio Max. Okay, so we have our building, we have windows, we have doors.